uh, just making this quick video for you on search engine optimization. Um, so there's a few things we're going to look at here. Um, this really ties in with the article that I wrote on on the thing. Now, the first thing you need to look at when you're looking at on-page search engine optimization, which is what we're talking about here, is your title tag. Uh, now, if we go into the HTML, this is near the top of the HTML title tag. You need to have your keyword in there. How to blog is the keyword that I'm optimizing this page for. Quick and easy blogs is the title. So you can see there that that um, those keywords are there. And you can also see the the meta name keywords, so all the various keywords along here, and also the description. Um, how to create quick and easy blogs, the ebook about blogging, and how to make money from blogging using either Blogger or WordPress. So uh, that's your, your key items at the top there. Now the next item we need to talk about is your headline. Now we're in Dreamweaver 4 here by the way, just out of interest, uh, which I, sorry, Dreamweaver MX, uh, which I picked up very, very cheaply on eBay and it, it, it really is a, an excellent um, HTML WYSIWYG editor. Um, so here we see the headline. Now I mentioned in the article H1, H2 and H3 tags, you must have your headlines uh, tagged so that's our headline one. Now I can really only optimize for the word blogs here, but that's good. Um, so that's you can see the H1 tag there. And then we've got the H2 here. Again, blog, blog in, make money from blogging. And you can see the H2 tag there. Okay. Um, the other thing you need to look at is your out image tags. Now these have become more important over time. And you can see what I've done here. Here's this bit here is the out image tag. Yeah. So the image is called book underscore two dot jpeg. There's the image source which tells, um, which is the HTML which tells uh, the browser where to look for the image, and that's the out image tag. That means that the search engines, when they spy to this site, will pick that up. How to blog and blogging. And if we look down at some of the other images that I've got on the site, here we go. How to blog blogging. Um, and with this one, I'll just scroll across here. Same again. How to blog and blogging. The out image tags, and how do we do that? We do right click, uh, edit image tag, and then you'll see that's how I set it up. So there's the the JPEG name, and that's it. Alternate image tag text that I've put in there, so the search engines uh, can recognise that. Now, let's just swap over to uh, to the browser here for a second. Okay, here we are in the browser, looking at the APD home site. Um, Welcome to APD Marketing. Here's our H1 here, and we're trying to optimize on the main page for the term Internet Marketing. Now you can see Internet Marketing there. Now this is a hugely difficult term to optimize for. So we've uh, we've tried not to go overboard on this site, but we, we've, we're trying our best to optimize for Internet Marketing. It will be a long haul, that's for sure, on this page. Um, now. As you can see, up to 500 words on the page. We go a bit overboard on this page, but on the first few paragraphs, you can see keyword density, internet marketing there, internet marketing there, internet marketing there, internet marketing there. Keyword density, well, I mean, some people say, you know, sort of 10%. My personal belief is it should be between 3 to probably 5%. Um, I reckon that's just about right. And you notice that we bold the term internet marketing um, so if you bold italic underline all the way through the page that will help the search engines when they spy the, to pick up the fact that this is an important term for that particular site so there you have it that's just a very very brief uh, guide the APD guide to on-page search engine optimization. Hope you found that helpful uh, and also that the fact we're able to give you some examples there um, and as always guys to your success Cheers now.